What a wonderful Savior. Amen. What a mighty God Amen. is our God. Amen. How great is his name. Amen. Hallelujah. What kind of church is this? What kind of church is this? Hallelujah. It's a foot stepping, hand clapping. Hallelujah. Church of the living God. Because we worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If the world can share for their stars, then we can share for our star, Jesus. Amen. We can shout and we can clap our hands and we can stand for our feet. And we don't have to be quiet or passive about it. We can just let the Lord know that we appreciate him. Amen. By praising him with our lips. Hallelujah. Clapping our hands to tell him we love him. Shouting out unto him. He is God all by himself. And that which he says he will do, we shall see it come to pass. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Before I go on and get too excited, I forgot to add something to our announcement on May 24th. It's our Daughters of Messiah meeting here at 10 a.m. It's not on it because I left it out. I don't know where it went. Amen. But on the 24th is the Daughters of Messiah meeting. Amen. And we're going to have a special speaker. I know who my speaker is already. It makes me really happy. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Bless God. Amen. Our sister Penny is going to tell us about her life. Oh my gosh. I wish the men could be here. We'll make a change. <laughs> or the parts that you can hear. But ladies, I encourage you to invite your friends. Amen. Come on in. Amen. 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 Let us come together with those that are coming and just give God glory for what he has done. Amen. One encourages the other. Amen. And we need the encouragement of the Lord. Sister Katie, I hope you'll be available on that day. Amen. Put in for it. Amen. And try to be here. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So that we can listen to what God has done and know that he's not a different God for Sister Penny than he is for Pastor Pat. He is the same God for every one of us. He doesn't have favorites. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is just God of all. Amen. And he loves us equally. And what he's done for one, he'll do for the others. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. This morning, I thank God again for being in this house. I want to acknowledge my husband. Sometimes I have time to take time. Amen. And just greet to my husband. Greet all ministers. Praise God. Mothers. Uh, praise God. Saints of God. Young people, this morning I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Amen. Bless God forevermore. You know, last night I was just sitting and talking to the Lord and I was just reading a scripture. And all day long I'm saying, Lord, what shall I speak to your people? I want a fresh word. I want something that's going to bring life into us and Give us that unction to push. Amen. Amen. Give us something to grab a hold of and hold on to and encourage ourselves. It's a tough season. Praise God. But God is in it. Amen. Amen. God is in our season. It's a trying season. But God is in it because he said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. So when you're going through the valley of the shadow of death, Know that Jesus is walking right by your side. Amen. If you're grieving this morning because you've lost a loved one, remember that Jesus is with you. And he promises to give you peace if you will take a hold of it. You can remember so much about your loved one, but you also remember that if they love Jesus, they are with him. Amen. Amen. And you can take that and be at peace. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I thank God this morning 
for his precious peace over those today that are in bereavement. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Amen. Our lesson this morning will be taken from Ephesians chapter 1. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1. And I'm going to be reading verse 3 and then verses 11 through 17. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Amen. Amen. 11. In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. That we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. Amen. In him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also having believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Amen. Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My topic today is Christ or inheritance. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Christ or inheritance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of us not many of us will receive an inheritance in this life. Amen. Not many of us can receive a call from a relative or even a friend. Glory to God who loves us and they're going away and they've got some stuff that they want to give away. Not many of us, Amen. hallelujah, in this life receive an inheritance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We live our lives in that which we have worked for through the grace of the Lord. We are able to live by many of us unto the end. There are few people in this society or around the world that can have an inheritance that is being passed down. And so they're born into an inheritance. The thing is that inheritance isn't a permanent one. Ah. Hallelujah. That inheritance is uh, lasting for most of them as long as they live. And then they die and their inheritance goes to someone else. And it didn't profit them anything beyond the grave. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. But we have an inheritance. Woo! Oh, hallelujah. We have an inheritance Amen. in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That is an inheritance that is uh, forever and ever. Glory to God. Our inheritance will not fail. It cannot go away. Jesus, our Savior, who is already and here to God, he received from God an inheritance after he hung on the cross and died. Everything became his. Glory to God. Hallelujah, how did I receive this inheritance considering that I was just a man on earth? All that I should have is from my mother or father or a friend or whoever decided to leave me something. But I have something in Christ because I changed my mind. I turned from following after the world and his inheritance which is sin and death and I accepted the life in Jesus Christ 
that say, now I am and here to the throne of grace. Now I am connected to the Christ, the Lord, the God of all things. And I have everything that he says I will have. Ah, oh, we're not excited. If somebody gave you a phone call in here this morning, you're waiting for me to excite you. But sitting in your seat right now, if you got a call, and it said you just received a million dollars. I am so sure that you would not be sitting in that seat looking pious and looking like you're not excited. You're just sitting there. You would be jumping. I mean, even. If, thank you, sister. Because I know that would be some reaction. Hallelujah. There is no possible way I receive a million dollars. I don't know about my husband, but I could see him just running around. What? <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Jumping up and down from the joy of knowing I don't have to worry about how I'm going to pay my mortgage next month. How I'm going to pay the light bill. Come on here. Amen. Now that is what we deal with in our natural lives. Right. But in our spiritual lives, we have a promise Amen. of an inheritance Amen. that is an immeasurable. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are here to all of God's immeasurable riches. It cannot be measured. The things that he has prepared from us. Amen. When we hear the words inheritance, we hear when we think of money and property, don't we? We think of things of the earth. Glory to God. And yes, while we're here in this earth, we need to receive money. Because we can't live without money. Amen. We need some property because we want to live in houses. Glory to God. Amen. Whether we have clothes, land, property, whatever someone gives to us as an inheritance, we are joyful about it, especially if we don't have it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. These things will give us benefits and ownership of. We didn't have a house. Someone left us a house. We are now here to this house. If we didn't have a house, that's a great blessing. Amen? Amen. Being chosen for chosen for this privilege can be a great blessing. Well, God gave everything to Jesus when he appointed him here of all things. And he has become our fullness and abundant supply. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. In Christ, we have fullness and abundant supply. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, pastor, I don't see it showing up. Well, you've got to walk in it. See, Amen. you don't have to wait. Listen here. When my husband was looking for a job, glory to God, he's kind of holding back on it because he's waiting for his blood test. Did you all know? I'm sure he told you this morning. Glory, he didn't tell you. I'm sorry, I told the story. Don't tell me a secret and see. Hallelujah. No, I can't keep a secret. But if you want something, now all they've got to do is go for a blood test uh, and a drug test. Does that tell you anything? Amen. You have the job. I'm not going to waste a blood test and I know he's no alcoholic or drug addict, so my blood is going to come Woo! back good. Therefore, the job is mine. Woo! Amen. Hallelujah. It is done. I don't second guess what God is doing. If God, if the man said yes, guess what? Yes it is. I'm going to walk in it. My faith becomes action. What I do brings me into what God has promised me. Amen. Now everything might not materialize right on the spot. But what I have to do is continue to believe the word of God and walk in it as though it is. See, if you begin to waver in your mind, you cannot receive the promise. 
For it's like the sea, the scripture says. It comes in and then it goes out. Now God can't bless that kind of faith because he don't know what to do with it. Hallelujah. He wants a faith that is steadfast. So my inheritance is in Christ. When I have a steadfast faith, the abundance, the immeasurable benefits of this promise, it's mine today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is mine already. I am already walking in heavenly places. Why? Because I have the guarantee of the Holy Spirit. We just read it. And it's living on the inside of us. Glory to God. I already know that I'm connected to Christ because my spirit bears witness with the God of heaven that I am his. Come on here, church. When the Holy Ghost gives you an unction, when you feel it, praise God, it's a reminder that this outer case holds a body that is connected to kingdom inheritance. Amen, 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 amen. Don't get too excited. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. It's connected. God has all power and has given to Jesus all things. And since we are the children of the Lord, then all things have become ours. That's a good place to clap your hands. That was a good place to say thank you, Jesus. That was a good place to praise God. That was a good place to say I believe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All things, all things are already ours. Because Christ is our inheritance. Glory to God. He gives strength to those that are faith. Are you feeling weak this morning? You have strength because Christ lives in you. Hallelujah. Are you feeling faith this morning? You have strength because Jesus Christ is your inheritance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you in pain this morning? He is our healer. Glory to God. We've got to say it. I am healed by his Christ. Hallelujah. Do you believe? Do you receive? What the word of God said. Amen. I don't care that my side hurts. Right. If it hurts, it's not hurting right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. My back might hurt. But guess what? By his stripes, I am here. Pain, you got to go from my body. I command you now to leave in the name of Jesus. Because I am an inheritor of healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you need wisdom? To those who seek him, he gives wisdom. Hallelujah. Wisdom so that our lives can be lived out. So that when he blows a trumpet, oh my dear God, when the angels blow the trumpet, he's not blowing it, but he's coming. Oh, back with the angel. When he gives me wisdom to choose good instead of evil. Bless God. When he returns, all things are mine. All things are mine. Heaven and earth. Lord of mercy. I won't be limited to Cape Coral. I don't have to worry. I'm coming down. I don't have to worry about how get to New York. I don't have to worry about an airplane ticket, church. I don't have to worry about whether or not I have the money to pay the fear. I don't have to worry because all things are going to be mine. Christ, our inheritor, has given us an inheritance that we can glory in even now. 
See, when I'm in heaven, I'm going to be in it. I'm going to praise him for it right now. So that I can experience it in my spirit. So that I can have joy to run on. Hallelujah. Knowing that my inheritance is not of this world. No man gave it to me and no man can take it away. My inheritance is in Christ Jesus. Oh. What are you allowing to oppress you? What are you causing to stop you from taking that inheritance? What's getting in your way? There is nothing greater than the inheritance that is in Christ Jesus. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Sometimes I just want to say, come Lord, even now, come. Come quickly, Lord, and take your people with you so that we might live in the joy that is in you. Amen. Wisdom is knowing the mind of Christ. Amen. Having the revelation of the mind of Christ. What he says he will do. What he requires of you. How to carry it out with understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said seek me. And I'll reveal myself to you. Hallelujah. I'm knocking at your door. I want to come in and make you wise so I can make you an inheritance with me. How gracious is that? How good is that? Who has ever offered me anything in this life just like that? Even thought about dying for me so that I... We should be glorifying God. I will die for you so that I can give you my Father's kingdom. I can give you all things that belong to me. You don't have to worry about how to plant the fruit tree. You don't worry about how to get some meat to eat. For all the cattle on the hills belong to me. Your hope is in the ordinary hope. Your hope is a hope that is in Christ Jesus. An inheritance that everything that you need. He's got it. He's got it. It's in him. And we are in him. Therefore we have what he said we can have. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said wisdom he'll give to those who seek him. Hallelujah. The world is in confusion. The church is in confusion. Amen. We are not supposed to be in confusion Amen. in the church. We are supposed to know what's happening. We are supposed to know what God's mind is about everything. Come on here. He has given us a spirit of discernment. know Christ, just take a back seat and look around you. Just check out the time. Look at the clouds. Check the temperature of the atmosphere. Come on, church. If you got discernment, you're gonna know that it ain't gonna be too long, Lord Jesus, before we're not gonna have to worry about our earthly beings, but our spiritual beings. Ah. Get ready, church. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. Yes, get ready. It's soon the time for takeoff. We know not the day nor the hour, but we do know that we need to be ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be ready for takeoff. It's knocking at our doorstep. We don't about it, we gotta live like Jesus said. 
nation. Amen. And the church is us. Amen. Not the building. Amen. People said, I'm not going to church. Right. Well, if you're considering the church a building, then you don't have to go there. Right, right. But if you meet me, I'm supposed to know what's going on. Amen. I might know everything just like that. But if you give me a minute, I got me a road map. And all I gotta do is look at the road map. Where are we now? In time. Revelation. Turn the page. Read what it says. Thessalonians. Read what it says. Daniel. Read what it says. And put it together. Wisdom. Wisdom. Discern. The time. Amen. Deserve the season. Amen. He gives us insight. Hallelujah. Amen. When we can discern things and we have the insight that God gives through Jesus Christ. Yes. It will cut through every darkness of confusion. Hallelujah. Amen. Every darkness Hallelujah. of confusion has to go because the light comes. Ah, Jesus Christ. The light comes. And when light comes, darkness has to hide. Amen. When light shines, darkness has to go away. Amen. They can't dwell in the same place, Woo. church. Darkness got to back up. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. He is the light. Amen. There is no discontentment in us when we recognize that Christ is our inheritance. There is no confusion when we understand that Christ is our inheritance. There is no fear when we recognize that Christ is our inheritance. Oh, bless God. Everything we hold dearly in this life, be it money, house, land, or relationship, it can be taken from us in the twinkling of an eye. It can go from us. Amen. But the inheritance that we have in Christ Jesus, amen, it is untouchable. It is unchangeable. It is inexhaustible. Come on here. It don't wilt and die. It doesn't run out. We can't swap it. It's an inheritance that is forever. Ah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise the name of Jesus. I love the word inexhaustible. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Inexhaustible. There's no bottom. There is no top. Oh my God. There are no sides to contain my inheritance. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's just my inheritance. It's forever. It's as wide as the ocean. Deep as the deepest sea. Amen. You know the rest of the song. Amen. Hallelujah. It is inexhaustible. When I read that word, that word just kind of tickled me on the inside. Because I'm like, Lord, in this earth, in, in my inheritance, things are kind of drying up. My parents weren't rich. They left the little they had. Hallelujah. And I'm looking at the bank book that keeping the house and it's coming down to uh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God for what they left. And I'm saying, Lord, I, I, I need to do some things, but I can't do it because the inheritance is kind of going away. Lord Jesus. It wasn't inexhaustible. But I have a Christ. Inexhaustible. Come on. Don't stay inexhaustible with me. Come on. Glory is inexhaustible with me. It has no end. No end. Everything that he has promised me. Now I'm going to have it forever. And it will not run out, church. It can't. It is inexhaustible. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's unchanging. Woo! What he said he will do, he will do. Because nobody can stop him. He is inexhaustible. Oh, Christ cannot die. He is forever. 
in a soft dungeon. Ah. Ah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our inheritance will not run out. Hallelujah. It cannot perish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Our inheritance has no end. Woo. Hallelujah. Jesus paid the cost Amen. of this inheritance Amen. with his life. Come on, church. Amen. Lord Jesus, I wish the day come again when the church get crazy happy yeah. about our Jesus. Woo. Crazy happy Woo. about what he has done. Crazy happy. Hallelujah. When we stop being sweet. I don't want to be sweet. I want to be one that gives him praise because I recognize that I hurt nothing. Oh, yeah. I would be nothing. Yeah. I can do nothing yeah. without my Christ and his inheritance for me is more than I've ever dreamed. Of. More than I've ever imagined. More than I have seen. More than ears I've heard. More than men can understand in their heart is my inheritance. We can't put it together. We can't count the cost. We can't count what awaiting us. My God, inexhaustible. Ah! Excitement. Hallelujah. Inexhaustible is that which I have. It's that in which I hope. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. Don't get weary. The road's rough. And yes, the going is tough. But I've got an inexhaustible inheritance in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I have abounding riches. Romans 10 and 12. Glory to God. Let me read it quick. Hallelujah. Blessed be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody find it. Read it for me. I can't even find Romans. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. For there is no difference hmm. between the Jew and the Greek. Mm -hmm. The same Lord over same all God. is rich yeah. unto all that call upon him. Uh -huh. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. He don't care whether you're Jew, Greek, or anything else. He's the same Lord of Amen. all. Amen. And he's going to give to all who love him an inheritance. Woo! Glory to God. An inheritance of things that are inexhaustible. Praise God. Things, Father God, that we have not seen or heard. He has an abounding richness for us. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Our inheritance. We are joint tears with Christ. Amen. All that belongs to him belongs to me. Amen. Belongs to you. Amen. Everything that he owns. Lord of mercy. We're talking about with poor. Which part of your poor? Show me your poor self. Come on here, church. Talking about I don't have. You would be have a poor mentality in the earth. And that's why we don't have all that we should have. Because we just keep saying, I'm broke. I'm poor. I don't have anything, Lord. I'm going to be on TV. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, bless God forevermore. Well, we need to speak the word of God. I am rich and abounding in faith and in all things that God said that I can have. I need to speak what the word of God said. I need to believe what the word of God said. I don't need to look at my circumstances confessing it over my life because what I confess with my mouth becomes a life. So if I want riches, I'm rich. I've got houses and land. My bank book is full. If I want healing, I'm healed by his stripes. The Bible said, not I am healed. I was healed. It's a done deal. Amen. 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 
Hallelujah. When are we going to speak what God said? Speak what God said. First Peter chapter 1 verses 3 and 4. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Read it again for me. First Peter 1 verse 3 and 4. Blessed be the God and mm. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ which according to his abundant mercy yes. has begotten us again yes. unto a lively hope mm -hmm. by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead Amen. to an inheritance Amen. incorruptible Amen. and undefiled, undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you Jesus. who are kept by the power of God yes. through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last Hallelujah. did you hear that did you hear that? You got stuff risen. Amen. Reserved. Did you hear that word? It is reserved in heaven for you. Ah, oh, hallelujah. And church, your inheritance is reserved in heaven for you. Did you make a phone call yourself? Did you do anything about it? Come on. We want to go to a hotel here. We got to look for who got place for us. We got to make some call. But Jesus or Christ or inheritor has reserved in heaven my inheritance waiting for me to come and just take all the things that he has put aside. Reserved. Until that day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Christ is our inheritance. Revelation 21 and 7. He who overcomes shall inherit all things. Did you hear me? All things. Hello. He who overcomes shall inherit all things. Overcome Amen. shall inherit yes. all things. I'm saying it again. Hallelujah. He who overcomes, Hallelujah. overcomes this world shall Hallelujah. inherit Hallelujah. All, things all things in Christ, Hallelujah. reserved Hallelujah. in heaven Hallelujah. until that day Amen. for us. He said, I will be his God, yeah. and he shall be master. Amen, 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 amen. In case you have any doubt, he said, he said, God said, he shall be my son. Amen. Son don't mean only men in the Bible. Amen. It means male and female. Amen. Hallelujah. But some like to say son and daughter. Yeah. Sons and daughters. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's reserved yeah. Amen. in heaven Woo. for us. Yeah. We live today inheriting what God grants us temporarily on earth. Yeah. What you get here, church, it's a temporary thing. Amen. <laughs> it's going away. Ah, the Bible said, new heaven and new earth is coming. Hallelujah. It's going to roll back up. This whole cloud, that, the sky that we see, roll up this whole earth. The Bible said that there are streets of gold in heaven. So I'm only imagining here, the Bible didn't say it, that when he rolls back this whole We're going to be walking on streets of gold. <laughs> Somebody help me. If heaven's got streets of gold, and that was just something that came to my mind, then why, when we get a new heaven and a new earth, might he not give us streets of gold? Somebody said, I'm going to put on my new wife. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Inexhaustible. 
of us inheritance. Don't worry about your temporary blessings. Enjoy them as you receive them. Amen. But there is coming a time when that inheritance will last for eternity. Saints, go through. Overcome this word. Amen. And you will receive Amen. your inheritance that is reserved Woo! in heaven. Glory be to God. Woo! You will receive an inheritance. Ah, eyes have not seen it. And ears have not heard the things that God has prepared. You know what I love? It's already waiting for you. This inexhaustible inheritance. Oh my, my, I got me a mansion up there somewhere. Somebody's talking about a little house in the corner. God don't have no little house in the corner. He's not short on some building supplies. Come on, church. Open up your mind to the greatness of your God. Amen. He don't need two little poles to... No. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> He's got vast supplies. Amen. Vast supplies. Then, since he's got a great army coming, he has made him a city. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Woo. Oh, hallelujah. I want you to go home remembering what you're hoping in. What your faith is resting on. Not just what, but who. Ah, know that you are ready engaged. Amen. <laughs> Engaged. Yep. Do you understand? Yep. When you get when God gave me this little ring. It's a beautiful ring. I love this ring. I do. When he gave me this ring, he said, I want you. You are mine. When I put it on, it was a short thing. That he won. I was his. I belong to him. I am now his. Everything he has. Hold my hand. It's mine. Everything. I'm inheriting to his things. Hallelujah. He's laughing. Everything. <laughs> Yeah, I can go to the courts yeah. in man's land. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't take everything. But everything on a serious side yeah. that I have, it's his. Yeah. It works both ways. Yeah. Don't worry, baby. I'm not going to take it and run up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everything he has is mine. Everything I have is his. So it is with Christ. Church hanging there. Amen. Time is rolling by. Amen. We can't count the days anymore as weeks. They're like seconds. Amen. Ah, hallelujah. The months don't seem like years. They look like days now. Amen. Any day now, we are leaving here. Any day now, Jesus is going to come. Amen. Our inheritance. Ah. Oh, our inheritance. Amen. I'll be so glad when this inexhaustible inheritance is mine. Amen. Oh my God. I don't know about you. Just thinking of that word makes me really happy. Amen. Makes me really glad. Amen. Trust in the Lord Amen. with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him as he Amen. he will direct our paths he's got abundance of riches reserved for us 
until that day, we're going to be overcomers. God bless you today. God bless you today. Hope thou in God. Fear not. Trust in the Lord. Press in, brethren. When you've done all you can, you don't know what else to do. Trust God. Stand still and see the redemption of the Lord is coming back soon. God bless you today.